We're coming to you live from our studios here at MX24. Welcome to MS Breaks. My name is Kwabna Ameya. Coming up, President Ekufado tags ECOWAS leaders to build prosperous, stable, and secure economic community. Also coming up, the National Labor Commission orders health workers to return to work or face sanction. Now to the details. President Ekufado has tasked the President, Commissioner, and staff of the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, to work towards building a, a united, economically prosperous, and politically stable community. Now, the president said this on Monday when he paid a working visit to the offices of the ECOWAS Commission in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. To this end, the president outlined his five-point agenda for the chairmanship of the community. Some 45 years ago, much more remains to be done to consolidate the socio-economic and political gains made over the years. The challenges in the areas of democracy, health, security, economy, trade and currency must be addressed in the spirit of genuine cooperation and solidarity if we are to overcome them, which I'm confident we can. And the president of the ECOWAS Commission was very much in accord with the five-point agenda for my chairmanship of the community, which I outlined. They are, firstly, the fight against terrorism. Secondly, winning the fight against COVID-19. Thirdly, trading under the African continental free trade area. Fourthly, the issue of a monetary union in ECOWAS. And fifthly, the consolidation of democratic governance. European, American, and Asian industrialization took place at times of limited franchises and authoritarian institutions. Ours is being done with full universal adult suffrage in open societies. This is the magnitude of our challenge and the nature of our prize. We should all be proud of being frontline actors in this great drama. Now let's do some more stories. The National Labor Commission has directed the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwife Association to withdraw its strike action and appear before it on Wednesday, 23rd September 2020. Now the NLC last Friday obtained an interlocutory injunction against the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, restraining it from embarking on a strike action. Now according to the Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission, striking nurses risks losing their allowance and salary and also possible termination of contracts. To um, court orders, interlocutory orders like um, an injunction. Even if you're so personal service on you and you hear gossip alone, that is enough service of the notice. Mm -hmm. If it was a case of contempt, or this, that's where you have to be served in person. But in the case of an order of a court restraining you from doing a particular thing, like in this case, radio announcement is notice. TV, electronic service, those print and everything. Especially when you have refused service. I think it was brought to you and say, I will take it. My boss says I shouldn't take it. That alone is enough. For those who are on strike, two things are with them. You either lose their salaries, wages, or whatever they are entitled to, and then they risk termination of their appointment. For the organizers of the strike, they also have two problems ahead of them. Where the people are not paid their salaries or wages for the period of strike, since you instigated or directed them to go on strike, which was unlawful, you are responsible for... Well, that's it for today's edition of MS Breaks. My name is Kwabna Amaya. Keep watching MS24.